Remember the other day when this voice actor decided to go to Twitter and make a terrible hot take? Imagine that. And that hot take in this situation specifically was this one. It says, more representation in anime. They typed it with all caps and spammed it over and over and over again because nothing says that you're serious about an issue like taking 30 seconds to go on Twitter, type something in all caps, and copy paste it over and over again. That shows that you are really serious about an issue and you're gonna do everything you can to change the world. Yeah, that 10 seconds it took to make that tweet, very serious stuff. So aside from this just being extremely lazy, in my opinion, and downright pathetic, pathetic lazy virtue signaling on Twitter, People in the comments called it out also for being so tone deaf, which I also agree on because anime actually seems to have quite a good amount of representation, especially compared to representation here in the West. Not just that, a lot of people agree that anime does it better. So tweet, very lazy, pathetic virtue signaling, very tone deaf. Apparently this anime dub VA doesn't even really know much about anime because otherwise they probably would have had a better take in my opinion. And the third point is that it is also just a bigoted thing to do. I'm sorry, but Japan doesn't need to conform to what you view from the West that they need to conform to. Very bigoted thing to do. All of that takes us here. I have now come across this tweet from Oliver Gia, and I want to show it to all of you as well. I would have included it in my original video if I saw it then. I didn't. I think it's a good take though, so let's talk about it now. Oliver says this, again, and if you can see, if you're not audio only, he's quote tweeting the uh, tweet that we just talked about from the VA. He says, Japan is a country where 98% of the population is ethnically homogenous, yet the stories and characters shown in anime have been genuinely diverse and varied for decades. Japanese creators don't need to be patronizingly lectured by culturally imperialist Westerners. Oliver then adds, I once again direct people to research the origins of American progressivism. The movement was led by whites who believed it was their God-given duty to be paternalistic figures towards racial minorities. Many were unapologetic segregationalists. What's really cool too is that Oliver's response to that VA's tweet has over 4,200 retweets and over 18,400 likes. And that VA's tweet only got 375 retweets and 2,400 likes. And the reason why this is really cool is because this is on Twitter where, you know, a lot of people seem to pander to the mindset that that VA has. Yet they got ratioed super hard in the response. I'm using ratioed lightly here. That's not necessarily the right context. You certainly get what I'm talking about though. So that's impressive to see in general, especially cool to see on Twitter. I guess people are just getting sick of the nonsensical virtue signaling and the bigoted mindsets that a lot of these people have over on Twitter and unfortunately elsewhere as well. The good news, as I just said, repeating myself now, People seem to be getting sick of it and they're starting to push back against it. Let me also add, starting to push back probably isn't the right way to say it. I don't want to discredit what people have been doing already for months and years. People have been pushing back against this stuff. It's nice to see it going well. I suppose I'll leave it at that. By the way, here is Oliver's Twitter bio, just so you can get more of an idea about this person. It says, Kyoto-based graduate researcher on Japan DPRK relations. He's a, contribu a contributor to NK News Org. He enjoys films, games, history, and says retweets and translations are not endorsements. This guy knows about all this stuff much more extensively than I do regarding the history and the various terms and all of that. However, I think there's something we can all pretty much agree on, and that is the great irony. The great irony that people who like to virtue signal on Twitter and pretend like they're calling out bigotry actually are the bigots themselves. And what's really nice about all of this is that people are realizing that and they are starting to push back against it more and more and more and more. On that note, I want to give an extra thanks to the anime community, specifically round of applause to the anime community. Y'all have been doing a great job of keeping the product for the fans and respecting and appreciating Japan for being Japan. And since we're giving thanks, seems like a good time to wrap this video up and give a big thanks to the kind people who promoted the last two videos. The second one from yesterday and the first one from today. Although I think this video will be coming out tomorrow. So this is going to get a little confusing. Ignore everything I just said. Just focus on the shout outs. <laughs> shout out to Striker Red, Dinosaur King, Lancaster, Puckster, John W, Ricky S, Ollie Wooly Gaming, KJC, Baku Girl, Mr. Anime 343, Fries 101 Review on the Brain. That's for the Ron Toy Vid. 
And for the fans sent or fan sends bizarre, you know what? Uh, for that video, shout out to Tony, KJ, DXDKJ, Katsur uh, Katsuragi, Shogun, North B, Wanderlust, Priest of Melody, Amsternon, Striker R, Daniel, Winter Schnee, Code North X, Intimidator 0108, Dinosaur King, Raw, Kitty, Kitty, uh, Kitty, Kit Cat, <laughs> Bruno, and Mr. Anime 343. Thank you all, and I'll see you in the next one.